Hello! How you doing? This is Vova. In this video I will tell you briefly how to trade on Amazon using the private label system. So let's get started. My name is Vova. I have been trading on Amazon since the end of 2016. At that time we started with a partner and have been selling on Amazon US ever since. Recently we also started shipping products to Canada. There has already been one sale. So cool, we are slowly growing. I also have a YouTube channel where there are more than 200 videos for Amazon sellers. The link will be in the description. So let's get started. Amazon – how to trade using the private label system. I have not traded on other systems like, for example, arbitrage or drop shipping. I do not know how it works. So I will give you information about private label system, how it works, in short. I will not go into the wilds and go deeper, but so that you understand how the whole system works. I will try to fill in all the blanks, so to speak, and help you understand whether this is for you or not. So what is a private label? Private label is when you take a product, remake it to your brand, and then you sell it. For example, you can take this camera back. We see the Love Pro brand here. Initially it was just a bag, that is, there was not even this logo here. Private label means to take some generic product and build your brand around this product. And not just put your logo. This is in short. How does it all work step by step? How does the system work from the moment when you don't know anything to the level when you have a product and you sell it on Amazon itself? So look, first of all you need to understand whether this is for you at all or not, whether you want to do this business. To be honest, this is not an easy business. But for me, these four years on Amazon, this is my first business, have also been very challenging. Sometimes it was really difficult, most of the time it was fun, but it's not an easy business and it's not fast money. All you do is buy the inventory of the product, brand it, and sell it more expensive. This is how you earn money here. You resell improved products on Amazon markets. Why Amazon? They're just really hot traffic and a lot of traffic. Buyers trust Amazon. They love Amazon and that's why they buy. You can put your product as a third party on the Amazon website and sell it. For example, let's take this camera bag again. You can create a brand of such a bag, put it up for sale on Amazon. But it's not that simple, right? After we have decided whether we're interested in it or not, we can start uh, learning, watch tutorials, etc. But this is another topic. But still, let's talk about the system. Initially, this is a product search and the concept of whether this product will work on this market. For example, we are now searching at Amazon US, the market for these bags. Through different programs, through different services, we can understand whether this market is for us, whether this market is good and, in general, whether a new or a small seller has a chance to sell there. Searching for a product. We are checking a niche, that is, we want to understand whether we, as a small seller, can sell in this niche, whether people have any desire to buy this niche at all. Do they buy this niche? That is, do they buy these products on the specific market where we want to sell? If it's Amazon US, we should check Amazon US. For example, here is Helium 10. These are tools for Amazon sellers. Here, with the help of this program, you can search for a product, search for a niche. I will leave a link in the description under the video, where I explain how to use this software. The tutorial lasts about an hour, it's free on YouTube, and there we can generally understand how it works, what it is. This is one of the tools you can use for product search too. So we find a niche, or rather we make a research, that is, we study. We want to learn about a niche in the market in which we want to sell. For example, take these bags. We are starting to check what turnover these products have, how many reviews these products have, how many people buy these products, who is competing there, where are the sellers from? Are they Chinese or not Chinese? So we try to understand if we can enter there at all. Of course, for you to learn this, I need to make separate videos about niche search or research. I have a 12 hour product search video in English. I'll leave it here on top of the card and in the description too. There I explain to you about 12 hours how to find the product. It's free on YouTube. 
Everything is step by step, a lot of information. I hope it will help you. So, we found the product. What's next? How to deliver it? How does it work? Personally, I'm searching for products on Alibaba. I didn't go far. So, I was still trained in sales hub in the 16th year, when my partner and I bought a webinar. And Alibaba is a website where you can find wholesale the same bags, mattresses, whatever you want at comfortable prices. Our goal is to make money if you want to build a business. And accordingly, we must search for a product that is cheap on Alibaba in order to sell it more expensively on Amazon in US, for example. So, after we realize that we want, for example, to sell these bags, we go to look for their prices. This is a part of product search. That is, sometimes it is possible that the product is sold great according to all the criteria there. But, for example, its price does not fit. We cannot make a good profit because it is very expensive. It seems like everything was good. There were few reviews, the niche is very money spinning, there are few strong sellers and the product is very expensive. And, for some reason, we can't find a reasonable source in price, maybe. Well, maybe it doesn't suit us. The initial stage of product search is checking prices on Alibaba. There we will be able to contact suppliers, get samples of products, that is, for example, we want to start selling these bags. We will contact several manufacturers and ask them for different samples. Product sample. They can send you just a blank bag, so that you can check what kind of smell it has, does it tear or not, is it comfortable at all? Does the camera fit or not? Usually we contact several manufacturers and find out what they give us the opportunity to buy. That is, what is the minimum order quantity they have? How long they prepare these bags? Perhaps one manufacturer sees these bags in a month and the second in 20 days. It is much better and of high quality as well. So we contact different manufacturers. We need to find 5-10 manufacturers, write to them, not all of them will answer you. And now you're wondering what to ask. So wait, Wawa, what should I ask them? There are various templates. The template is a ready-made letter where questions about price, quantity are already provided. In one of the comments of the big 12-hour video, I left an example of a ready-made letter for contacting suppliers in the response to the subscriber. So I'll leave it for you here too, in the description. For example, so that you understand what we're talking about. We contact suppliers and communicate. We're looking for good profit on these products. Then we compare samples from different manufacturers and see which factory has the best quality. Okay, so what next? We want to work with the manufacturer that communicated with us the best, with whom it is comfortable to talk, respond quickly, good English, good product, good prices, everything is comfortable for us. Usually, if you write to 10 manufacturers, they will answer you, for example, 7, and you will want to understand between one, the second and the third with whom you will work. As a result, you will need to choose one. This is the beginning of the product search. Usually you want to even improve your product. That is, if we look at the niche of the same bags. Then there is an example. If you find the same bag but with a different logo, if you have not improved anything, then customers will hardly buy from you. You can improve your listing, your photos, you can add a video so that you build a whole story around an ordinary bag. This is the very branding. It seems like this is an ordinary bag for photographers. But you can tell, for example, that we're like photographers. I'm not a professional photographer, but I like to take pictures. I like to take pictures and I was missing a good bag. I started searching, decided to improve it, and so I created this product for you. It's already much more interesting here. There is also a brand history, there is a person who came up with this brand. This way it will be possible to sell better. The bottom line is that it will be difficult to launch another similar product on the market. We need to improve something. Maybe the packaging is better to do, maybe improve the problems of products that already exist. For example, this is how it seems that it is uncomfortable. 
it presses on the neck here, we'll improve this. We will sew some strap here, we will ask the manufacturer, so that the neck doesn't hurt. This is how we improve the product. The essence of launching a product on Amazon is that we have to find a niche and improve the product in this niche. That is, do something better so that people buy from us. Okay, let's say we decided to order bags, prepare the cool product, photographers, everything is cool. How to send it from the manufacturer, where to send it, what Amazon does in general. Amazon sends out our products. When we send them products, they will be able to deliver them over to our customers automatically. If my product is on Amazon, a sale has occurred, then Amazon will send the product to this person without me having to physically do anything. That's the power of Amazon. Now you think, well, it's cool, Vova, but how to send them there? Good question. When we prepare this product, that is, we will pay the supplier, usually we pay 20% initially when we placed only the order, and 80% when the order was checked, that the bags are not torn, that everything is normal, we will pay 80% of the following. Everything is closed, everything is ready for delivery, everything is checked, everything is cool, we pay the rest of the order. If you have any questions, write in the comments, I will answer you. And, of course, put a like to the video, it will also help. And then we have to send them out. We have prepared, for example, 500 bags. We want to send them to Amazon. How does Amazon know what we are sending? On Amazon we open what is called shipment. Shipping is like a package. Then they will give us stickers. We will write, we are sending from such and such an address, for example, in China. We are sending 500 units of such and such a product of such and such a size. They will send us stickers on our boxes. The products are packed in boxes. There is a small package for a handbag, for example. It can be either a box or just pack it in a package somehow, but it's all put in large cardboard boxes, which are then sent. For example, we will make 10 boxes. In each box there are 50 units of such bags. Next, we will have to stick 10 stickers on these large cardboard boxes, and then the carrier will pick them up from the manufacturer. That is, the guys who are engaged in transportation. I've been working with the guys from Unreal China for about four years now. Alexander Hudyakov. Sonny, if you're watching, hello, thank you. The guys are great at transporting. All in time. I will also leave a link in the description to the guys. I've been working for a long time. They really help. They want you as a seller to have time to send everything on time. You pay money for it, that's fine. But prices are attractive and the guys are really good. We contact such a company, even with several I advise you to contact. Not only with Sanya. Consult with the guys. See where the prices are better, who is more comfortable for you. It's just my recommendation. You contact them and say, Sanya, what's up? I have 10 cardboard boxes of such and such a product. It has some weight and it has some dimensions. They will help you, they will ask you what and how. I want to deliver them there. How much will it cost? Also, your manufacturer, who will prepare these products for you, can sometimes also advise a carrier. Sometimes they can give you even more attractive prices than Sanya. But let's say working with Sanya will help you that he will be able to receive more information about the shipment. Because the manufacturer orders, for example, from its own carrier, and then you need to contact him. I'm in the north now, this is Nazareth, in the north of Israel. I'm traveling now and decided to record a video like this for you. So I want to help you. So, you get the price from Sanya. You will say, so, cool, 10 boxes, such and such a size, so it will cost you so much per kilogram. You can transport by plane, by sea, you can also transport by train. I also have a friend, Amit Rosenthal. This is Probox. I will also leave a link to them in the description. These guys are also well done and also transport products. I also work with them, so they are also okay. But I still work more with Sanya. And in terms of time and number of shipments, we do more with Sanya with Unreal China. So, you get the price that it will cost you for shipping on Amazon. You like the price, you closed everything. You should also check in advance before sending the product how much the transportation will cost, because you cannot prepare bags now, and then only think about the price of transportation. 
It is necessary to think about all this in advance to see what profit you will have from the product. And now again, I will not be able to delve into the details of how this is all done here, because it will take a lot of time. Okay, so we found a carrier, Sanya picks up the cargo, then you will wait 30 days if by sea, or 20, as the product arrives to Amazon. The movement inside Amazon is already beginning here. We'll have to launch the product now, overclock it. I'll tell you about it now, in general, how it all works. We gave away the stickers from Amazon. Amazon knows that we have a shipment, glue them to the boxes and send them. Amazon will take this cargo to FBA. This is the FBA system, where they receive and send. They deliver it to different warehouses. These are different Amazon warehouses. You don't control it. Amazon decides where, how. I don't know how they solve it all. They will accept your product and your product will be on Amazon. Also, you have to prepare your Amazon listing in advance, so that you show Amazon customers what you are selling. These are photos, copywriting, this is the title of the product, bullet points, description of the product. How is this done? If you are not a copywriter, then don't do it yourself. I studied copywriting and have been studying for several years now. I myself do copywriting for our products and for various advertisements and the like. I don't advise you to do it yourself, but if you want to learn, ask too, I'll tell you. For example, Digital Marketeer, there is Eugene Schwartz, there is a lot of cool copywriters I can advise you. I'll leave you a couple more services in the description that also do copywriting for you. They will help you to build listings. And I'll tell you one more thing. Look, you want to sell bags, but you have to understand who you are selling them to, who is your buyer. If you know your buyer, you have a very big head start, because often people try to sell just a bag. They may even succeed, but if you know that your ideal customer is a 29-year-old photographer, for example, then you can show the same person in the photos. If you know that this bag is more for those who take pictures of all sort of views like here, let's say, yes, a cool view is for you, then you can also show these things in your photos. You need to understand who your buyer is and build your listing on Amazon based on his avatar. You will write your listing, your title, your photos, videos should make a person feel Oh, this is for me. I need this product. I'm making this video for you, because you're interested in selling on Amazon, as I understand it. Or you may already be a seller on Amazon and got on this video. Maybe you're my mom. Hi, mom, how are you? If you're not my mom and you're just... I think you're someone who wants to trade on Amazon, respectively. I speak your language. I'm not talking about eBay right now. I'm not talking about Pinterest, I'm talking about Amazon. That is about the same way you should think about your products. Now the wind has blown a little. I hope the camera will not blow away. So we get it. We realized who our customer is. We built our listing on Amazon in advance, before it even arrived on Amazon. That is, we already have ready-made photos, ready-made videos. If you want, I advise you to invest in the video, by the way. So there will be more chances to sell. Yes, it is necessary to invest money. It is desirable to invest even more, buy good photos, hire a good photographer, create photos with people with emotions. We want to let a person feel different emotions in a few seconds, logically close it. Through pictures and through videos, we want to rock our buyer's emotions, because this way there will be more chances to sell. If there is just a photo of the bag, which is cool, of course, maybe he will buy it. But if there is a photo of a dude who looks just like him, I don't know, taking pictures somewhere, some mountains and had this bag, it doesn't get wet, that is, he will see himself in these pictures and say, damn, it's me, I want this bag too, I'm buying it. If only it were that simple. 
I'm telling you here, so by and large, of course. Imagine a finished product, a finished listing, everything is ready. The product gets on Amazon. You will have the inscription in stock. The product is already on Amazon, you can sell. But what do we do next? How is the product launch on Amazon going at all? How can I briefly explain this to you? Look, our goal is to improve our listing, our page. What does it mean to improve? We need feedback. We need questions and answers. In general, these are reviews. By and large, we need product reviews. And the product launch is also needed. What does launch mean? When your product gets on Amazon, you have already prescribed in advance all the keywords that are associated with this product. For example, bag for photographer, big bag for photographer, durable, waterproof bag for photographer, and so on and so forth. You will do the keyword search or your copywriter. They do it too. If you want, there is a free tutorial here on YouTube. Here I will leave it to you again in the description. In this tutorial you will be able to understand how to build a listing. There I'll explain to you from scratch to from A to Z how to find keywords and how to insert them into the listing. Great tutorial, about two hours. Free on YouTube here. I highly recommend it. The point is to put the maximum number of relevant keywords in your listing, so that we show our product in as many places as possible that are relevant on Amazon by keywords. For example, small bag for photographer, bag for photographer, bags for photographer, blue bag for photographer. In that tutorial, I explain to you how to do it all. Or you pay a copywriter who finds these keywords for you himself and what I advised you to do, if you're not a copywriter yourself. But you can find the keywords for copywriters also through that tutorial. So you have to do it. You will have a listing that theoretically can appear in all relevant places. Then we start to promote the listing. We're starting to show Amazon sales. We're starting to sell. And how do I sell at all? How does it start? Look, there are several ways. You can do it through PPC, through advertising on Amazon, which you can also learn in different tutorials. I don't do PPC myself, my partner does it. So I don't even know how to advise you. That is, we can launch the product through advertising. Now we initially have zero reviews and we're starting to advertise on Amazon. How does it mean to advertise? For example, I can pay Amazon to put me on the first page for the words back for the photographer. But think that if you appear on the first page back for the photographer, maybe there are bags there that have 500 reviews, 200 reviews, and you will appear on the top with zero reviews with a new product. If your product is cool, if you have built your listing well, they will buy you even with zero reviews. But it's hard without reviews. Therefore, initial reviews are important. At the time that you turn to an advertising with zero reviews, you can also ask your friends to buy a product from you. This, so you know, is against the rules of Amazon, that is, it must be done underground. You have to ask friends of friends from some distant relative to buy a product from you and without a fee. You're not sending him some kind of ransom link, you tell him just write the keywords big bag for the photographer and the name of your brand. For example, super photographers. Big bag for the photographer, super photographers. That way he will see your product, click on your product, ask him to press on others more, so that he puts it in his cart the next day to buy it. So what is the point? So you can catch up with the first reviews, not completely legally. Illegally, in general. Then you will have to not contact anyone. Sell only through PPC. That is, through advertising. And send automatic mail to buyers. That is, there are many ways to collect reviews. The big idea is, initially when you launch, to show the system that you are selling, that you are selling well. And when sales are going well, the algorithm will start pushing you forward. That's why we're building a good listing, good photos, so that people who come to the product do not just leave to buy others, but buy us. And thus the conversion rate will be higher. They will click more on your main photo because it is juicy, beautiful, and they will buy from you. 
and then Amazon push you forward in the keywords, and the algorithm will push you up. I hope you understand. If so, please like it. Thank you and share this video with your friends. So in this way your products will be built slowly, reviews will be collected, you will go up the ranks and so you will be able to sell more. Then you will need to make more product orders. The ask is not to go to out of stock. Out of stock is when you run out of products and you don't sell. This is generally very bad. Your goal is always to buy a product, so that you always have a product in stock and so that the product always goes to the warehouse, so that sales go harmoniously. In fact, it is very difficult, we have been running out of product periodically for four years now. But now with the tools like Helium 10, like Seller Mobile, and generally with the improvement of your sales skills, you will understand more when to order what. There are programs like Helium 10, it will show you how much to order, when to order, a very good thing. I really advise you to watch this video here, it's a full review of this tool. 43 minutes approximately. That's about how it works. I have described the whole things of sales to you. If I forgot something, write. If something wasn't clear, ask. I will answer you. And I hope that you will understand what I will answer you. And that's it. And then we rock the listing further, launch more products and that's how it all works. I can delve into the details and you write to me. If you want me to tell you more about, for example, a product launch or about reviews or about product research, I will do more videos. I did it in 2020. And day yes, day no, the video is in English, I'm tired. Now I understand how the system works now, I need to build a team. I did it all myself, recorded everything, rendered everything, and I'm just saying that there wasn't much time, but now I'm somehow more or less figuring out how to play with the YouTube, and I'll make more for you. So that's about how Amazon works, in short again. This is all in brief, it took me about 30 minutes, so that's about to show you the whole system. Of course you need to register on Amazon, you need to search for products, you need to do a hell of a lot of things there, but it's already technical, I can record it for you separately. I just wanted you to understand with this video how, by and large, this machine works. And again, this is not the easiest business model. But yes, you can make good money. Because if you manage to buy a relatively good, high-quality product on the cheap and sell it for a big price, because you have learned how to brand, you have learned how to build really cool products, good listings, you will sell a lot. Because Amazon buyers are very hot. We see conversion rates as 40%. 10 people came in, 4 bought. Initially, we didn't know how to do that, because we just didn't know all the tricks. I advise you to read books, pump your brain, learn sales. This will all help. Amazon is not just about finishing a course of some kind and let's go. We need to learn sales, human psychology and so much more. So yes. My name is Vova. Thank you for still being here. Put a like to this video. If you can share this video, share it. Ask questions, write comments, and I'll help you. I hope everything will be fine with you. And also here I will leave you a video about Helium 10. This is the very tutorial so that you understand. There I give you all sorts of cool gold nuggets. How to use it about Amazon different. In general, I'm describing this tool for Amazon to you. So watch this video. That's it, good luck. I wish you a great day, see you soon.